thank you so much. And it's a pleasure to be here with uh, Connect Caribbean and, um, and to recognize, of course, your membership in the CARICOM private sector organization. Uh, the CPSO, uh, as the press would know on the uh, update with you this morning, was created by a decision of heads of government in 2020. And more recently, having received a number of mandates, including the mandate to support the private sector and the community, the CARICOM community, in achieving 25% reduction in food imports by 2025, uh, there are a number of other mandates that the heads have uh, requested the CPSO as a private sector organization to collaborate with the region on. And one such, of course, is the one on which we engaged this morning in this press conference, which is to contribute to a private sector solution to address the challenges of maritime transportation. Uh, and at the time, the focus was on the Southern Caribbean which we've defined as all of the countries in the Eastern Caribbean, plus uh, Barbados, uh, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, Suriname. So we've already focused on that. And, um, and this morning, the conference that we are participating in with you, with, with uh, so many of the uh, news media from the community, really focuses uh, wholly on how we've collaborated with our proud member, Connect Caribe, in achieving this mandate. And first of all, we want to say how happy we are that Connect Caribbean has really taken this initiative um, really quite seriously and have themselves pursued and championed this mandate, um, which uh, they spiritedly uh, also took uh, from the mandate of heads of government. And they have formed a number of very interesting partnerships. They formed themselves into a consortium and I think what we're seeing here this morning by way of update is a manifestation of that. And I want to thank them quite early for what uh, we have simply termed their, sick, their stick to itiveness on this initiative. Our role as a CPS already is to provide strategic information, which will help the private sector to take better decisions. And we are particularly um, focused on trying to ensure that for the opportunities that exist, we provide the best information that will lead to business success. We were particularly drawn to what Connect uh, Caribbean uh, Caribbean has been doing by virtue of the fact that they have from the beginning focused on developing a successful business investment proposal. And this successful proposal, I think, which uh, certainly we're starting to see uh, developments based on uh, will plug into what has been a felt need in the community in relation to the movement of goods. And in our instance, we've been focused on agricultural goods, but there's a recognition that there are small volume, non-agricultural goods that will benefit substantially and also the movement of persons. And so uh, in collaborating with, uh, with Connect Caribe and in providing this information, I'm really happy to say that we have formed an even closer partnership with them so that we will not only assist as we've been doing with identifying what I've termed in my presentation to heads, the sweet spots, which is really what is the most valuable, uh, viable proposition for us to begin the initiatives on, but how we expand. And so in, uh, in working with them, our focus is going to continue to be on trying to support the initiatives, whether it is uh, in this instance, by Connect Caribe or other initiatives that are offshoots of this whole uh, conundrum of a uh, successful transportation in the community. And in that regard, of course, all the relationships that we have at the head table, particularly in relation to the payment solutions and e-commerce are important integral solutions to uh, a viable business proposition. And we're really happy to be providing the information to be supporting that. Let me say that uh, in addition to this, we've also done this in the spirit of a relationship with the Africa Exim, uh, Africa Import Exim, Exim Bank, Afri Exim Bank. And in that collaboration with Afri Exim Bank, where we have an MOU, we are delighted also to be working, whether in this phase or in another phase, with the Afri Exim Bank or other finance institutions 
in helping to support this project. The way that the CPSO information, I think, feeds in becomes particularly important where that is concerned. And I'm happy to say that with the resources that we've put together, the, uh, the, the richness of the information that we've been able to support this project on will certainly help as they move to uh, more involved investment phases of the project. And so uh, I, I just want to thank uh, again, Connect uh, Caribe for uh, the steps they've taken so far. We are all working in the spirit of the mandate of the heads of government. We understand that uh, this is a time sensitive um, project that we are engaged in because indeed, as we speak on this 50th year of the community, we see a downturn in uh, intra-regional trade. And of course, uh, that downturn, we believe, coming out of COVID, they are optimal, very good options for us to leverage if we were able to put the maritime transportation initiatives in its proper perspective in supporting intra-regional trade. So uh, on behalf of the CPSO, we want to thank you again and to thank the press uh, for the opportunity to spread the word we encourage you to do so, because indeed, in the other announcements to come, based on the collaboration and the leadership and the initiative taken by uh, Connect Caribe, we know that uh, we are now moving in a more concerted direction to achieving the success that our community deserves. Thank you very much.